you know, you're a real... Hello, today we shall be talking about slash reviewing Jackass Forever. I got to see it in theaters, and honestly, um, we'll talk about it. I didn't think it was that great, but that's just me personally. If you saw it, let me know what you thought of it down in the comments below before we get into the review. But anyway, without further ado, let the review begin. So, Jackass Forever. This movie was originally supposed to come out in October of 2021, but then uh, a couple things happened. One of the actors, well, not actors, stuntmen, I guess you could call them, from it ended up uh, getting fired because he kept failing, uh, like, alcohol tests and all that, so he ended up going into rehab. It was um uh, the one with the beard, Bam Matiga, I think his name is, or something like that. I'm not 100% sure, so don't quote me on that, but um, I've seen Jackass 1 and 3, and um, obviously this one now, but um, I gotta say, I personally wasn't a fan of it. I think the first one is great. The first one I feel like is a classic. It's just me personally, but seeing this one, uh, Jackass Forever, I'm like, it, it's, it's okay. It did have a couple of scenes that did legit make me laugh. Like, there was a couple of scenes that actually, like, are pretty funny in this, but overall, I just didn't find it that funny. Um, there was a lot of, um, excessive, uh, genitalia for, like, no reason whatsoever. Um, it was just a lot of, like, cringe, and I don't mean it in a bad way, I mean, like, ah, like that, that kind of cringe, not ooh, what society has made it into, I mean, like, actual cringe when, like, they're doing stuff to, like, their penises and all that, and honestly, I just didn't, I didn't find it that funny, like, yes, it is funny the first time, but as they continue doing just the same joke over and over again, just with a bit more, like, stuff, I'm like, this isn't, like, this isn't that funny, there are scenes in this movie that are funny, but this one, for me, personally, is not, and the, okay, the opening was a tad bit funny, but, like, I feel like it ran a tad bit too long, like, it was pretty much a Godzilla scene, like, Godzilla was destroying the town and all that, and they were running from it, and, um, pretty much what it was, was, um, Godzilla was, um, one of the guy's penises, uh, painted, and that was about it, and then they brought out a turtle, and then the turtle bit the penis, and that was literally the opening part, and then, yes, he did spray, uh, all that wonderful stuff all over, um, them, and I was just like, oh, I didn't, uh, I know I just called it all that wonderful stuff, but I don't really want to say it. Probably end up getting, uh, like, this video taken down. But anyway, like, there were a couple scenes that I thought legit funny, uh, were, were legit funny. Now, I enjoyed, uh, Bad Grandpa when I saw our Bad Grandpa. So, the scene that they had him dressed up as the old man going furniture shopping in this, I did, le like, legit find funny. I was like, okay, this is actually really, really funny. And I actually really did enjoy it. Like, when he sat down, he's like, oh, dude, nice. And then the fat guy fell, and then he, ah! he went flying up. I, now, that that I thought was funny um there was um another scene that I really did enjoy it was actually the finale of the movie the finale of the movie was actually very well done and it was completely over the top and it was a lot of fun so the finale was pretty much uh they were put on a rotating turntable like a fast one like one from an amusement park just on a much smaller scale there's only I want to say six of them and they had to drink milk and the problem was while they were drinking milk it would become flying out and all that and then uh they would have to like just I think uh, the goal was not to vomit if I remember right but I mean honestly that's if I remember it right and um there this movie was really touch and go for me there were scenes that I enjoyed but the, boy were there a lot of scenes that I did not like really enjoy that much but um so pretty much um they came in with like this army tanks and all that and they just shooting paintballs at each other and uh they had no protection gear whatsoever so they were getting pelted like full-on pelted with these uh paintballs and you could see like all the bruises all of course one of them got hit in the dick and they had to show that and i'm just like oh, what why are we showing, like, why is this movie obsessed with showing it, like, it's fine, like, if you want to show it, but why are you doing, like, so, so much, like, so much, there was so much, and I, like, I don't understand why, like, there was a couple of good gags with it, but it just kept going and going and going, but, um, Johnny Knoxville is still in it, and I am a fan of Johnny Knoxville, Steve-O is in it, I have no idea what happened to Steve-O, Steve-O looks bad, like, like, he just did not age that well, but, um, Johnny Knoxville actually surprisingly looks good for his age, and, um, the bull stunt that they did was actually the worst, um, I believe they said the worst injury he ever got while filming all these jackass movies, which, in the long run, is actually quite surprising if you think about it, like, that was, that was the worst injury he got from all of this, but, um, all in all, for me personally, it's a very hit-or-miss movie, um, I, I just feel like, um, 
the original generation that grew up with the first Jackass have either, have either just moved on or, like, like this one was only for the diehards because there was really nobody else really showing up to this. My theater wasn't that crowded whatsoever, and uh, they did a couple of uh, good jokes in it, a couple of good stunts, but overall, I found it very lackluster, and honestly, I would only give it a, a 5 out of 10. Now, this one, on the other hand, this one I've enjoyed a lot, a lot more, and then now this opening sequence, I find a lot funnier, too, when they were like running with a shopping cart with the epic opera music now that that i found funny but the new one i don't know it's just personally how i felt about it i give it a five out of ten i don't think it was that good but anyway that was my review of jackass forever so if you enjoyed this video please give it a like and a subscribe so i know to keep making more of these if you saw jackass forever let me know what you think of it down in the comments below and let me know how would you rate the jackass movies just out of curiosity let me know down in the comments below but anyway thanks for watching as always and i'll see all of you in the next video bye